Hey Zesties, I'm Michelle May and welcome or welcome back to my channel Zesty Girl. Today is another What's For Dinner where I share with you my family's meals for the past 10 days. They are always super easy, super quick, super frugal and super delicious. So if you want to see what we did, then let's do this. Okay, so I'm starting out with some footage that you may have seen before if you've watched this video that I'll just put up here on the screen. It was when I was cooking gluten-free meals for a meal prep. So I'm just showing you that obviously we had sausages wrapped in bacon and we had a pasta sausage dish. We had gluten-free crumb chicken and we also had a really delicious pear crumble. So if you want more information, just check the video out above. Okay, so the next day we are cooking chicken curry. Now I've never really done it before in the crock pot, so what I did is I put the chicken in with onions and garlic and some tomato sauce, some tomato paste, and I just sort of left it cooking just like that to start with. Gave it a few hours and then I started to add the other ingredients which I'll show you shortly. But in the fry pan right next door, I'm making some, oh, I'm going to use the I don't know if you remember, I brought some sweet potato noodles. So I'm gonna cook a dish using those. So it's basically chicken with the red pepper, then I added an asparagus, mushrooms, uh, tamari, and uh, some garlic, onions, did I say? And then the sweet potato noodles. They got a bit glucky because what I did is I was doing too many things at once and I didn't rinse them. So I cooked them, or I left them soaking in water and then I didn't actually rinse them off. So they ended up, they ended up a bit glucky, but they tasted great and it really didn't matter. So I wouldn't advise doing it the way I did it, but look at this, it turned out perfect. I remember filming this and it smelled so incredible and the taste was amazing as well. So this is super duper healthy. So if you're looking for something, you know, that's really low calorie, this is it. Okay, next up, I cooked the pork sausages from Costco. These were just to have in the fridge as snacks. So I got that done, two trays of those. And now I'm just going to hand back over to the footage so you can see what we got up to next. I've just cooked some potatoes. I've just baked some potatoes. And that was because someone suggested to me with my potato loving boys that I should make loaded potatoes. So I haven't done that for years. So while the sausages were in the oven, I baked these potatoes and I'm going to do that. I'm not sure if I'm going to film any more tonight because I'm tired and I just want to relax. So I'll get these done. I'm not sure if I'm going to include it, but the chicken curry that's not looking like curry at the moment, but I'm going to put the curry in now. The chicken's pretty much cooked and I've just thrown in asparagus. I've got some spinach, but I won't put that in till, until the end. And I also put the coconut cream in closer to the end of the cooking. And I've just put a whole big bunch. I've just put a whole box of spaghetti in here, gluten-free spaghetti, because tomorrow I'm going to cook up, tomorrow morning I'm going to cook up ground beef for bolognese. And also there's a little bit of chicken left from Costco and I'm going to cook up uh, spaghetti pesto chicken pasta. So then I have all these, all this food on hand, which should last for ages, but will probably only last me until Saturday night. So that's the plan. So I'm gonna keep cooking. I've done a cooking videos this week, so I'm just letting you know, it just never ends. But I don't think I'm gonna keep filming tonight. Okay. I will, however, show you how this turns out in the morning. Okay, loaded potatoes is going to be mashed, so it's mashed potatoes, cheese, milk, um, onion and bacon and pepper. Okay, I said I wasn't going to, but I'm just recording. I'm sorry, I'm just recording. I've just finished the loaded potatoes. I haven't done these for so many years. And so much fun, and they just look so delicious. So I'm going to cover these in tin foil, and these will be a big surprise for the family tomorrow because I don't think I've ever made them. Ellie, shh. I don't think I've ever made them. It's the whole next day night. <laughs> And I realized I forgot to film the end result of the chicken curry. So here it is with probably about three serves taken out of it. So this has been a real hit and I'm going to have it for dinner tonight. And so is my husband. So yeah, it's had, we've had, my husband had it for lunch and a couple of the children had it. So that's how that turned out. So yeah, I just hadn't showed you. So today is Friday and I have had a lot of work on today. And also I've cleaned the house or got on top of all the housework, which is great. Nice and tidy. I love it. 
Okay, so this is the chicken curry plated up the next day for my lunch, and I've served it with, this actually isn't my lunch, that's too big to be, to be my lunch, but it's served with the basmati brown rice that I got from Costco, so this is obviously my husband's portion, and here are the loaded potatoes straight out of the oven that the boys are about to eat, and they loved them so much. I'm going to be going again this week. They love them. Look at them. So yummy. Okay, and then you may have seen this footage before too. This was taken from last Sunday when I was exhausted after a busy day and I accidentally ended up doing some meal prep. So this is just, I'll oh, just to quickly go over, I had, I made this chicken noodles that you just saw. Then I made beef noodles that you see here with lots of mushrooms and pak choy and some ground beef and added in these noodles I had left over and made a beef noodle dish. And then the last dish I made was... The, using the spaghetti from the night before, I basically threw everything in that I have left that I had left over in the fridge. So it was spinach, cheese, sausages, and spaghetti, and made this cheesy spaghetti pasta, and that was a massive hit for the beginning of the week. So I walked into the week with these three dishes on hand, and that was amazing. That was super amazing. I just love meal prep so much. Okay, but then what did we do? Let's jump back to the footage for the rest of the week. Very lazy dinner here. This is using the Aldi, uh, this is using the Aldi turkey mince, the Aldi stir fry vegetables, a handful of spinach from the fridge, and also uh, hokey noodles, half a packet of hokey noodles from Costco. And it's a very lazy 10 minute meal tonight. So that's beef with hokey noodles and veggie stir fry. And what are the children having? Well, a couple of the children are having chicken feeds. And we also have on offer gluten-free pizzas that look a little bit like smiley faces and some salad. So that's the meals for tonight. Still a cooking, looking good. Yum, yum, that looks so good. I love this meal, so good. Okay, and welcome to, welcome here to the five minute dinner. This literally takes five minutes. So what is it? It's lamb mince and a pasta sauce and kale and rice. This rice. Done in the microwave. You throw it all together and it makes this delicious, ricey, mincy, kale-y, tomato-y, cheesy. Oh, and cheesies. And of course I put cheese in there as well. So it's, it's going to be delicious. I'll dish it up and I'll show you. And here it is, the beefy, ricey, it's, it's, oh, Ali, be quiet. It's almost like risotto. It's coming out like risotto. So delicious. And literally this took five minutes. It took five minutes because I'm very busy, which I will tell you about very shortly, but, well, not tonight, but soon. Okay, there it is. Yum. Okie dokie, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you here and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. See ya. Bye. I can see